Hey guys, DC here from the Christian Gaming Channel, bringing you a brand new video of Super Mario 64 DS. And in the last episode, we finished out Bob on Battlefield, Womp's Fortress, and I think a few other stages. You know, I have another bother talking to you, what do you have to say? Mario! Yoshi jumped in that picture chasing you, did he find you? That mountain in that picture looks like a great place to relax. I bet it's a peaceful land with no strife. You keep dreaming, Toad. You keep dreaming. Anyways, with all of that done, I didn't know I could still do this. Huh. That's neat. The run button's still available. And here I thought it was gone. Anyways. Okay, analog still works. Um, we're gonna end up going to Cool Cool Mountain, because I'm pretty sure that's the third course. I was wrong, it's the fourth course. Whoops. Well... Huh. Snow Mountain Summit. Watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. I guess we can do some stars here? That's fine. That was not my intention, but it works. I've never understood why that coin runs away from you. Kind of a weird thing. I don't think there's too many coins that do that normally. Um, might as well show this off because in the penguins race, it's illegal. Plus it has two extra lives, which is always a fun thing to have. And this may very well net an extra life, too. Yep. A uh, nice 32 life count. Nice. Very good. Anyways, we should get our star now. And there it is. 32 lives, 32 coins. And, as soon as I grab it... Mario, please just... Thank you. And 23 stars, which is the opposite of 32 when you think about it. Mario looks so much more tan in that life icon than he actually does in the game. Okay, so... I think we could do three more stars in this and then head over to Jolly Roger Bay. Do a little bit of variety. Little penguin lost, too. Uh, so there is a penguin down on top of the house at the bottom of the mountain. Do not bother with that one. This is the penguin you want. And should be able to just jump off here. Oh, great. Oh, sweet. Why is he running away? I'm back here. Is this the right one, lady? Yes, it is. I can't do a female voice, so use your imagination, I guess. There you go, lady. Enjoy your kid. Uh, I'm just gonna take the star and leave. I'm gonna break the tradition of Mario 64 players just chucking the baby pink one off the side of the cliff. Well, these are going by pretty quickly. Big penguin race. And the kids have already been lost again. I'm the world champion, Sledder. I may be bulky, but I'm very fast. How about a race? Ready? Go! Now, I wonder if this penguin is the uh, other penguin's father. Just a hunch? Could be right, could be wrong, I don't know. But this guy has some very bad rubber band AI sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Maybe in the original version, actually, because he would usually be giving me quite a bit of uh, competition by now. No, that was a fair race all the way through. Mm -hmm. 
You've broke my record! Unbelievable, I heard you were the coolest, and now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't give you a gold medal, but here, take the star instead. You've earned it. Thank you. That star looked angry. Course number four. Cool mountain. So, three stars, one more to go. Frosty slide for eight red coins. Oh boy. The real challenge is going to be remembering where the coins... This is going to be a Yoshi level. Okay, so... Hmm. Alternative plan? Mario, get right out of the snow. Thank you. I'm not mistaken. Yes. So if I jump off here... Okay, yep. There we go. That was not the intended method, but it always works. At least for me. And just do wall kicks will work instead, because the other one requires Yoshi. That was dangerously close to the edge. Okay. Just need to be a little close. And this is so much wider than your troll. There we go. Why do the stars look so angry? I think it's just the way the pixels are, but... They look angry to me. Well, that's our fourth star for that course. I think next episode we're going to switch over to Yoshi, give him some time in the light. But, for now, we are going to do some exploring in Jolly Roger Bay. Plunder in the Sunken Ship. AKA the least fun level out of the bunch. I think this is also the introduction of the Power Flower? Yep, okay. With the Power Flower, Mario can float it like a balloon. In standard mode, press B repeatedly to make Mario float up and to crouch to land. Change his direction with the D-pad. Try it out. Or the analog stick in this case. It's effectively the 3D version of, um... The P-balloon from Mario World. I'm trying to remember how long this, yeah, it doesn't last too terribly long. So I'm gonna go out of horse order a little bit, oh no. Okay. I was gonna say, do those boxes come back? Okay, that's always a bomb. Good to know. Quite frankly, I'm surprised that there's a bomb. Okay, he came out a lot quicker than I anticipated. Which I'm perfectly okay with. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is going so much more smoothly than I anticipated. Okay, so... Plunder... Just collect the one chest, because in the original version, you uh, have to solve a puzzle. This one's not so tedious. Awesome. And get our star. There we go, plunder in the sunken ship. In the original um, USA version of the uh, base game for Nintendo 64, there's a pirate ship on that. This version takes after the Japanese version, which only shows bubble, uh, bubbles for some reason. 
which is strange that they wouldn't, you know, utilize the uh, American version for the uh, USA ROM. But what do I know, I guess? Anyways, here's our new power-up as well, Shell Surfing. You can ride the shell on top of the water for an indefinite amount of time until you press the crouch button, in which case you uh, lose the shell, obviously. It beats swimming. Okay, Mr. Eel. I don't like dealing with you very much. Oh, I don't fully understand people's childhood trauma with the eel, honestly. It doesn't scare me as much as it annoys me, if anything. Treasure in the Ocean Cave. Fun one. Hopefully... Nope. Fun one. There we go. I should not come back. Okay. No big deal. Talk to the pink bob on buddy over here. And he'll open the cannon for us. Which will help us get another star later on. Cannon is technically quicker than swimming, thankfully. I think aiming right about here should work. Perfect. Right where I wanted it. I always like the music in Jolly Roger Bay, it's very relaxing. Somewhat mysterious. Alright, P Balloon is not going to be a very beneficial power up in this area, so just kind of long jump past them all. And get electrocuted in the process. If you guess the wrong chest, you get electrocuted. Arr, hoy matey, I have sunken treasure here, I do. But to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order. What order is that, you say? I'll never tell. Okay. You gotta wonder, who is this captain? Because, uh, he has a very basic way of checking out chests. Anyways, that's our third star. Hop back in for our fourth and final star of this episode. This time, don't ram right into stuff, and I don't even need the shell anyways. Because we're not going to go in order as far as I'm aware. Unless this was the one I just picked. Should be right. Nope. Blast to the stone pillar, yep. I'm just doing it in order, weirdly enough. I'll give this cannon one more shot, and then I'll see if that red block over there has anything different besides a bomb on it. Because I know for a fact Balloon Mario would make this infinitely easier. There we go. Nope, Mario. Why didn't you hold on to it better? Okay, I'll check for you guys. Hopefully, it's fine. Bomb still? Yep, that's a bomb. I had to expect at some point it's not going to be a bomb. I mean, it only makes sense, right?
Well, I guess, um... I'm gonna have to cut out till I get back out to that stone pillar, I guess. That pixel will do it anyways. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys there. Okay, that should be in line, and jump! There we go. And our final star for the day. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star, but before you move on, let's just check some things. Did you rescue poor frightened Luigi? Did you pound the two columns down? I heard that Bowser snuck out of the scene and went underground. Looks like you finally cornered him. Um, I guess I'm ahead of schedule by the game standards, but that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and remember Jesus Christ is King, and he loves you. Bye!